is up you guys welcome back to my channel long time no see what the fuck i feel like the last time i posted on youtube was yeah about my birthday and loads of you said that you wanted to see the birthday glam from that so i didn't want to film anything else until i was ready to film this and i've just been a little bit busy with podcast stuff at the moment hope you can forgive me um but we're here we're here with the makeup look i feel like this could be used for any sort of party occasion it is quite full coverage and um, i just prefer full coverage makeup if i'm going to be having a lot of pictures and stuff i just feel like it it comes up and shows up a lot better obviously pick and choose what you want from this tutorial but I, this is yeah literally the makeup that i did on my birthday which you were all asking for so i really hope you enjoy i will have listed all of the products in the description bar down below for you guys to make it easier we're answering a few questions in this video as well just so we've got like things to chat about while i'm getting glam yeah i am obsessed with this makeup look um i'm I'm ready to like go out and do something so if you guys are watching this while you're about to go out and get ready let's just get ready for the weekend together so i really hope you guys enjoy it and let's go ahead and get started right let's start bare face obviously um i feel like i just need to like, go over my face with a wipe you know oh my god it feels so weird obviously i film my intro at the end because i'll have my face done so like it's my first time like sitting down talking to the camera filming like a makeup video in what feels like forever i'm actually kind of glad that you guys wanted a more in-depth makeup tutorial on my birthday makeup it just gives me a chance to sit down chill with you guys an excuse to get glam because i've not put makeup on for a long time now rocking a bare face i feel like when you've got lashes on as well I never really want to put a face on, but for skin prep, we are going to be doing the eyes first, but just to prep my skin so it's got time to like seep and absorb, um, I'm going to be going in because we're going to be using kind of a full coverage matte foundation. I'm actually going to mix it up a little bit with the skin products. I think it was the eyes that you guys really liked in my birthday glam, so I'm going to keep that exactly the same. But for my skin, I'm going to mix it up a little bit. So we're going to be using quite like a glowy base because we're going in with quite a full coverage matte foundation that I want to try. So nothing changes here. Super Goop Glow Screen. This shit is like the bomb. It is so good. I wear this just sometimes on its own. <laughs> Drop it on my leg. And um, for like a no makeup makeup look, it's just stunning. I've put, what is it with me? I'm a bit shaky, like <laughs> dropping everything. I've put all my friends onto this. Like, when they put it on, they've kind of looked at me and gone, oh, shit, like, that is beautiful. I will leave everything linked down below for you guys. That's never really, like, the purpose of my makeup tutorials for you guys, like, buy everything that I'm using, but I just know it's easier if I link it. And because if you're watching this video, it's just going to be, like, down below. But literally, why am I, like, why is my face suddenly, like, reacting? But look at my skin with that product on it it's absolutely gorgeous and then i'm also going to go in with the charlotte tilbury magic serum crystal alexa 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 yeah i've i went through my makeup drawer the other day and just had a massive clear out and i was also really just loving the way that madison beer does her makeup and just the way that she looks in general i think she's gorgeous i know she uses a lot of charlotte tilbury and I saw I had a lot of Charlotte Tilbury in my collection. I was like, I don't really use it enough. And it, and it gives the appearance of the skin that I love. Like, I, I mean, you guys know I love my Charlotte Tilbury powders. And, like, I've got the Charlotte Tilbury foundations and I never really reach for them. And I don't know why, because a lot of the time when I click on makeup artists' posts on Instagram to see what makeup they've used, a lot of it is Charlotte Tilbury. So I thought, I'll try this. What is wrong with me? Jesus Christ. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would try this as a makeup base. Because why not? <laughs> it looks pretty and I saw it in my collection and I thought, why not? So before we jump into like the eyes and stuff, I'm going to go ahead and do one eye. Um, I will, yeah, once I do one, I will show you what I use and then I can chat to you and like go through the questions that you guys asked. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Right, I'll make sure I zoom in. I feel like I always forget to zoom in and all the comments are like, Rachel... We can't see what you're doing. Please zoom in. Right, let me get these questions up. Let me get these questions up so I don't forget to actually answer them. Right, so what I've done is prep my eye with concealer. This is the one I always use. The NARS Soft Matte one in the shade Canel. I think that's how you pronounce it. Hello? Baby, can you focus? 
canal. You see that? It's kind of got like a pink undertone, which I feel like helps cancel out any like blueiness going on in my eye. My eye can get quite dark because I do be tired all of the time. And I've also used the Refi brow thingy just to kind of set my brow for when I fill it in after foundation. But for my eyes, I feel like I always use this palette. We're basically just gonna be doing my classic, every, like matte warm tone, smoky eye. It's the By Mario eyeshadow palette. It's literally called the Master Matte. I literally don't use anything else these days. I'm gonna be taking this shade right here. I'm gonna take this shade right here. I normally, oh wait, no. I'm gonna take this shade here. Normally I go all over my eye with this shade, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go, well, because it was my birthday, I wanted to go dark, so we're gonna go all over the lid with this. Um, and then we're gonna buff it out with the HNB bronzer, which I'm also gonna be using on my face. So this is gonna be going like in the crease to diffuse it. I'm then gonna be creating a smoky lash line with this matte dark brown right here. Um, literally, I, I do that all of the time. You guys know the drill. I feel like this is the product you guys wanted questions about. This is the MAC Dazzle Shadow Liquid and it's in the shade Blinking Brilliant. I love this. You can see, you just brush it on, it adds a sparkle. It's the only like proper copper liquid sparkle shadow I've seen. It's not like a liquid eyeshadow that's really pigmented or anything like that. It literally just adds a sparkle, which is what I want. I want something subtle and this is amazing. You can see mine has nearly run out. So before I just came on here to speak about it, I ordered myself another one just in case you guys decide that you all want this for the party season because it is bloody gorgeous. I won't lie. They've got a few shades. I got mine from Look Fantastic. I will link it down below for you guys, but I just made sure to pick myself up another one because I do be running low. I use this a lot. They're just so convenient and easy to use. So just so you guys know what I'm actually doing on my face because I'm now just gonna go ahead and do it and now I can actually chat to you guys because I've explained that there. Someone said, do you watch you? And if you do, what did you think of season three? Yes, I did watch it. I binged the whole of season three. I really liked it. I kind of had forgotten slightly how it had ended in season two, but they obviously do show you the previews. And I was like, ah, oh, yeah, I remember the format of it. Cause I was thinking like, bloody hell, he talks a lot. But I remember like, that's kind of like the whole purpose of his character. He's like this really weird, like chatty guy. Um, but no, I made sure like I was watching it like at the gym. If it's something that I really need to focus on, which I feel like you kind of was, there was a lot like going on, a lot of characters, a lot of kind of like different sort of storylines within it. I find it easier to watch those programs while I'm at the gym, while I'm like walking on the treadmill. That's a good idea for anyone else who's listening. <laughs> uh, if you do the kind of workout at the gym, that's the, you know, incline 12, speed three type thing for a long, like a long duration of time, like 30 minutes or more. Watching something on Netflix really makes the time pass. And I always make sure to watch something that, you know, if I was at home, I might be distracted by like on my phone and stuff. Cause I, I'll be watching it on my phone at the gym. If that makes sense. Sorry, I take the shadow like down here. Um, just to start off like contour, even though I will go over with liquid, but I know it looks a bit weird right now, but it will make sense. I look a bit dirty. Uh, so yeah, I really, really liked it. I finished it, I've watched it. I'm now gonna watch Squid Game. I'm really late. Well, I'm not late because I did watch Squid Game, like when everyone was talking about it and like at the very beginning, but I've now attempted to watch it twice and I still am just a bit like, I, I don't know because I think, and I think it's because I keep getting distracted. So I've said to myself, Right, this will be my new thing to watch at the gym so I don't get distracted and I'll watch it while I walk. Yeah, I don't know, everyone is like obsessed with it. But from like the two times I've attempted to watch it, I didn't think it was that good. Like, I don't know. I didn't get, I think the furthest I got is like episode five. So maybe I need to like give it some more time or maybe like even less than that. But yeah, I'm just smoking out this wing. I'm just gonna take that kind of like darker brown shade, like a little bit into the crease as well to give a little bit of deathy, a little bit of definition. Someone said, what is your favorite night out in Manchester? Now, 
I have put up my list of places to go and things to do like in Manchester so many times. I have put it on my Twitter, like so it's there permanently. I still get DMs about it being like, hi, I know you put your list up, but like I forgot to screenshot it or like something. It's on my Twitter, you guys. Just go onto my media and go on my Twitter. I did post it there. Um, but my go-to night at the moment, do you know what? I obviously love a good old dinner. By the way, this is the glitter bit. Oh my god, mine's like really running out. Uh -huh. But you can just see, subtle sparkle, no glue necessary, obviously no fallout. It's just so pretty. Yes. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, I love a good dinner. But recently, I've recently discovered Blue's Kitchen. Love it in there. It's a bit more mature, I feel like, but they, they have like live blues music. The drinks are really good. It's quite small, but also there's like loads of places to sit. Yeah, I just think that's like, by the way, I'm loving that the sun's just come out. That's really helped me and this video. Loving a bit of Blue's Kitchen at the moment. Yeah, like I said, it's a bit more mature. Uh, you can sit down, drinks are good. I love live music, I think. It just adds such like an atmosphere. Um, and also been, I've like fallen back in love with Albert Schloss. I just feel like everyone is always in there. And it's just always a good night in Albert Schloss. Even if you don't have a table, there's always like, everyone's always up and about. There's kind of like different places, like within it as well. I, when anyone ever says like, what's Albert Schloss? I don't really know how to describe it. Do you know what I mean? Like, what is it? Is it a bar? It's a bar, it's a restaurant, it's... It gives club vibes, but it's not. Like, I really don't know how to describe that. Right, that's literally the eyes done. Although what I am gonna do is take the Charlotte Tilbury pencil in the shade Bedroom Black. That's what we like. I'm just gonna tight line my upper lash line. Okay, I can't really look at the camera when I do this, but... Eh. Oh my God, that's come down on my lower lash line. <gasps> Did I do that? Like, let me just check my eye makeup. Did I put anything on my lower lash line? I think I did, you know. But I'm gonna like take that away. Oh my God, I never do black on my lash line. Especially like, not like that anyway. Okay, I've just wiped that away because I'm not sure if I actually wanna do that underneath my eyes and I can't remember if I did. But you can see it just kind of like adds to the smokiness of it all. But now we can move on to the skin, which is my favorite part. Cause yeah, I've got lash extensions on, which are the lash extensions I had on my birthday by Sarah Gregory Makeup Beauties. She, I, I've mentioned her before. I've mentioned her on my Instagram. I'll put her little like at on the screen. I am obsessed with these. If you're sort of like Wilmslow, Manchester-y based, she do be the gal. Um, I've definitely found the lash girl now and it's her. But right, I'm gonna go ahead and do my skin makeup now. So as you know, I already kind of prepped my skin. I feel like I'm just gonna give it a little more moisture. I don't know why my skin's feeling a bit dry at the moment. But a MAC Fix Plus, I love this shit still. Every time I spray it, it just is so nostalgic to me because I used to work at MAC and that just, this literally just was what our counter smelled of like 95% of the time was Fix Plus. But for my birthday makeup, I wore this foundation. It looks really dark. I was quite tanned on my birthday. Um, this is the Matte and Poreless Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 332 in, and it's also called Golden Caramel. I got this in America like such a long time ago that I don't think, like I've tried to sort of find it. I just don't think the UK shades are the same. And I'm also like not really that tanned at the moment. So that's what I actually used on my birthday. Um, but I'm not gonna use that today because it's unfair if I use that um, and you, you can't get it. I got this really random. It's the Kevin O'Quan Skin, Sensual Skin Enhancer. Looks like a concealer type vibe. I've seen a lot of people wear this as foundation and it looks gorgeous. It is thick, but I'm gonna use a sp like a damp sponge to like blend it out. I've, I've never used it before, like literally not even tried it. But this color is the shade SX10. It looks like a really nice color. And I'm kind of in the mood to be a full coverage bitch today. Sorry, that's what we're gonna do. Don't know how to like put this on my face. Should I just... Put that on like that. Oh, it looks like pale. I'll bronze myself up afterwards. I wanna try it and I'll let you know how I go. So let's just do two little things like this. Hey, okay, I'm nervous. Bit nervy bae. But this is party glam makeup, so obviously it's gonna be full coverage. Right, here we go. If this is too pale, I'm gonna be annoyed. Oh my God, it's looking pale. Actually, 
is that looking pale? But like party makeup, I do like to have my foundation kind of dark because you have a lot of um, like flash pictures taken of you, don't you? And if you're, and it's nicer to have like a, a tan base and then you don't get such like a, a, like a pale, like discoloration, like flashback. Is that just looking a bit pale? Is that just looking a bit pale? Deep breaths, everyone. The fact that the sun keeps going in and out is pissing me off. But I will say that is full coverage, but that looks really pretty, like on the skin. That's done the most, but because I've used a damp sponge, it feels really nice. Probably would have preferred it slightly more tan, but what are we gonna do about it? Anyway, somebody said, they didn't say that, but somebody said, favorite pizza brand and toppings, guys. I wonder if you guys can guess what I'm gonna say. I have mentioned it before because I feel like not many people agree with me on it. But, oh, sorry. Too Faced Born This Way, again, was going through my collection. I thought I've not used you in a while and I used to love ya. Full coverage products. One of my favorite full coverage concealers. Um, favorite pizza brand, guys, it is Pizza Express. Like, I love it. I am never disappointed with Pizza Express pizzas ever. Like if we order them on Deliveroo or whatever, I'm never disappointed they come. I think it's because we've got one like right up the road. They come really quickly. The only time, <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, they come really quickly. They're just, I'm, we're never disappointed. I've never, touch wood, had a bad one. And guys, things are looking up for me. Things are looking up for me. Put it on my Instagram story that, you know, Pizza Express was the best. They replied to my DM saying, you know, really hope you love it. And like, I think I was quite tipsy at the time. And I said, you know, if you ever want to give me a gold card, let me know because I do be loving Pizza Express. Like I literally love it. And I sent that DM weeks ago, like literally weeks ago. I'd actually even, I'd forgotten that I even did it. And they replied to me today going, yeah, like please email this address. And I'm like, don't do it. It will, it will end in tears. <laughs> for me, but I will investigate for you guys and keep you posted. But in terms of like toppings on a pizza, if it's Pizza Express, like their margarita just slaps as it is. I'm sorry, that's so boring, but it does. I feel like a lot of their like meat toppings on pizza are, unless you get chicken, which I never really gravitate towards chicken on pizza. I don't know why, I love chicken, but on pizza? I mean, if somebody else got it, I'd have like a slice and I'm sure I'd obviously really love it because I love chicken. But I never really think to get that on my own pizzas. I don't know why. Cream contouring, by the way, with this milk stick. Hannah got me onto this and I actually think she bought me this. Obsessed with it. Yeah, um, I I do, I used to like pepperoni on pizza, but I don't, I tried to steer clear of pork and I always forget that pepperoni is pork. Like, I always forget. <laughs> or like, Spaghetti carbonara, yeah, Rachel, the carbonara in that is pig. Like, I'm uh, sorry, the, like, pancetta, like, pancetta is pig. I always forget, I don't know why, I just don't make the association. So, I did used to get sort of pepperoni, olives, and mushrooms. Like, that was, like, my vibe on a pizza. The classic base from Pizza Express as well. But I try to stay clear of the pepperoni as much as possible. So, mushrooms... And olives are really good. I know that's Hannah's order as well. I like the thought of like red onion on a pizza, but red onion do just be lingering like on my breath for the longest time. Um, right, I'm gonna blend this out and come back to y'all. Right, she do be blended and I did just spray myself with a bit of Fix Plus to just kind of snatch it all together. Actually guys, with the bronzing and you know, I was scared that thingy was a bit pale. We be looking good. Right, time to powder, time to powder. Also guys, I'm going through that phase where I want to change my hair color. What do you think we should do? I keep being drawn to like Albany like tones. I love red hair like so much. But once you go red, if you obviously, I have been red before, it's just a nightmare to like get that tone like out of your hair if you ever wanted to. So I'm a bit like conflicted, but let me know in the comment section what you think I should do with my hair next. Anyway, I'm just going to go over, um, I'm just going to set my face even, sorry, with the Charlotte Tilbury powder in one under my eye, shade two, kind of all over the sort of face, and then I kind of bake areas with the Huda Pound Cake uh, loose powder, 
so like this um someone did send me in a question saying dating much no i'm not i've decided to not I, I went through like a little bit of a phase where i was like i really want to be like dating someone you know i think i even put up on my instagram stories the other day like just get a bit lonely i feel like i'm at a point now maybe it was just turning 25 i had like a, a quarterly life crisis i was like <laughs> never really had like a serious relationship and i don't know why i'm not, i don't like like want one more but like i do want one and then I went through a phase of like kind of really like try I'm like trying to find one, but like, you know, on apps and stuff like that. But I have just kind of told myself I'm just gonna let things be and just see what happens, you know? Just yeah. I feel like I don't want to chase something because you know they always say like if you if you're actively like searching, it's probably like not gonna happen, you know? So I just told myself I just need to chill out, like relax. My time will come. Um, so no, I'm not like dating, but I, I would go on dates, you know? Anyway, someone said, not a question, but your podcasts are amazing and so therapeutic to listen to. I am so glad you guys are loving them and the concept. I'm so glad I kind of like took the plunge and went down the kind of more like interview route, especially with such like interesting people. Well, I think they're interesting people. Um, I literally... I uh, was so busy yesterday. I've recorded three episodes yesterday, but it was two people. One of them is being broken down into like two parts. Um, and they were just so like so interesting to, to talk to. I cannot wait for you guys to listen. The first one you will hear is on Monday. So I'm not sure when you're watching this. I'm putting this up on Friday. So that yeah, the next podcast episode uh, you will hear is one about periods, which I think is just going to help so many people. It's really helped me in the sense that after speaking to this woman I have told myself I'm gonna come off the pill um I just want to see what my genuine cycle is like I want to check that it's healthy it's good um I want to see if it makes a difference to the way that I feel um and I feel like I want to get like checked for endometriosis it was something that i thought i did have once upon a time but i was completely dismissed by the doctor that i went to it was a male doctor we talk about this on the episode and i feel like it's just going to resonate with so many women out there so i really hope you guys love this episode and find it helpful it's not meant to be scary like it's just it's meant to be helpful and it's meant to be you know bringing to light on situations that are so common like uh, the woman that i spoke to she's been through the absolute ringer with her periods which is why she wanted to be this advocate for people and is the the period girl um so yeah that'll be going up on monday so i really hope you guys enjoy that episode and then the following two are just super interesting and fun they're both with the, these american women which i just love they were so lovely to speak to and i just think you guys are gonna love them holly boone bronzer well hmb cosmetics bronzer of course honey we've got a government the shimmery bronzer bronzer which on my actual birthday i forgot can you believe it I forgot this product, so I had to use like the body shimmer. Like it was my body shimmer, luckily, so it's basically the same product. But I like prefer my little compact um, for the face, just to like, oh, give it that glow. Oh my god, shit! I've not contoured my nose. Someone said, "Am I celebrating Halloween?" Yes. I like. I cannot wait to put my outfit on. Um, we're just having like a little something flat party, and when I say little, I literally mean like. 10 people like at a gathering uh we just wanted to, a reason to get dressed up you know and i can't wait like i just want to get dressed up and get drunk can't wait to show you guys my outfit it's not scary or anything um i saw a tiktok that was like if you're notoriously known as like the funny friend i don't think you should dress up as something like funny or scary for halloween and i was like you're so right and she's like it's like turning up to work on your day off and again i was like Sorry, that's so true. So I don't want to go as anything like scary or funny. I'm gonna go like cute. I'm not going like over the top or anything, but I'm gonna be wearing a wig. Jack's gonna be doing me a wig, which I'm just so excited for. Yeah, I can't wait to get dressed up and just have a little something. I feel like a bit old now. I don't really like, <laughs> thought of going out's a bit scary on Halloween, especially around here. Fuck yeah, now. All sorts happens. For blush, I got this the other day. I got the Kylie blusher in winter kiss pale pink vibes loves that and i'm gonna use the morphe aerial brush 
Oh. Oh. Wait. That's really cute. Purpley, like, blushes make you just look... Make your skin look dull, like... Oh, my God. I feel like this... Well, it would make sense that Kylie does use this one because it is her own one. But that is gorge. Um, I haven't got a highlighter over here for some reason, so I'm going to go gonna go grab a highlighter. And I'm also going to go ahead and do my brows. But for brows, it's the same old, honey. I've already sort of gelled them up a bit, but I'm just going to use my Precisely, my brow pencil in the shade 3.5. I'm going to set them in place again because this is quite like a light product. Uh, the Benefit... 24 hour brow setter, so be right back for literally two seconds. What the fuck is going on with the weather outside? I'm pissed. Anyway, I use the Viev. I use the Viv. Viev? I know it's Jamie Genevieve, but is her brand Viev or Viv? I would assume it's Viv. Um, holy chic highlighter, bridge of the nose, uh, inner corner, literally glazed the side of my face. I didn't want anything too like, because. I like the skin as it is, but I suddenly remembered what I think I did with my eyes on my birthday because I think that same thing happened. I put this, tight lined it, and it came down a little bit, and I was like, oh, don't know if I want to do that because this is black. It's like a like a soft black, and I and I don't really do that. But I think it needs something, so I think I just went back in this pencil. You know, I always use it, dark brown mambo from NARS. I think I did that, you know, and tight lined to give a bit of a sultry, sexy, yeah, I did do that. Yeah, and then I also remember what else I did. Yummy. And then I think I just got the bronzer, a little ponceal brush like this. I didn't put any mascara on, I don't think, on my bottom lashes, but I just really softly like buffed that out because I haven't really been wearing anything on my lower lash line recently and I don't really want to. That's all I did. A little smudging. Mm, okay, so for the lips, I feel like these are very, like, eyes, you know? Especially with these lashes. I need to make some plans tonight, girl. I won't be making plans tonight. I already can tell you that right now. But yeah, brows done. Um, lips. Oh, my God, onto the lips. My Fady Bear. I got two new glosses recently, and I can't decide which one to use, guys. I'll put the lip on and see. Fenty have come out with their holiday sets. They've got a new shade of the friggin'... Gloss Balm, which I always get so excited about. And obviously, this sparkly nude that comes in the set called Champ Stamp. I was like, yum. But then I got this from Kylie, and it's called 323. It's giving me that uh, bluey pink vibe that I did put on my cheeks that I'm like, God, why am I so burpy today? But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with the Bite Me Lip Liner from Morphe and this Dull Beauty Lipstick in Get Lippy. So this is it without, but like, guys, oh, showing me through the screen which one. Which one? Pinky or nudie? I'm feeling pinky. Are you guys seeing pinky? Are you seeing this one? Okay. I mean, it didn't really do much in terms of pinkiness, but it is really pretty. Like, you can't see any pink on that whatsoever. I feel like these probably would have looked quite similar. But the formula of um, the Kylie gloss is actually really good. Really good. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face again with Fix Plus and then with the Create Revolution Makeup Fixing Spray. This gives me the, is it Cinema Secrets or like by, or like something, it's Ben Nye the Ben Nye face setting spray vibes that literally locks in your face. I feel like drag queens use it very much used in like theatrical makeup to lock it in place. It gives me that vibes. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with this, spray it with that, and we are done. So this is the finished birthday glam makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I will leave everything listed and linked down below. I know actually in my birthday glam, my hair was a bit more bit more birthday glam vibes. Someone actually did my hair for me, but curled it and put it in pins. So I feel like it just looked a little bit more extravagant than 
the process actually was because it needed to last me like all day i just loosely curled my hair with the beauty works molly may like the the silver barrel one and this is what i got so i really hope you guys enjoyed this i love sitting down just doing some glam i've not done glam in freaking ages this is obviously quite intense glam it's birthday glam it's party glam obviously we're doing the most when it's a special occasion so obviously pick and choose elements of this tutorial for your own makeup look I'm filming this on a Friday, so the fucking weekend. I hope you guys put this glam to good use this weekend if you're going out. I feel like I barely touched the surface with the questions. I'm sorry. I I didn't think I'd have lots to speak about, but it's me. I always have lots to speak about in the sense I'm just trying shit off the time. So apologies on that. But um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'm feeling sexy and cute. Um, I'm ready to do something. So maybe I'm just going to go and take some pics um, for the thumbnail for this. So hopefully... I did that. Make sure you're following the podcast as well. Um, new episode dropping on Monday, which I feel like you're going to really love. Um, but until then, I'll see you then. Does that make sense? Until then, Tarami loves Tara. Tara.